So, so like I was saying, so this is the apartment. God being so good, we have completed this and we have tenants who are already occupying it. As I said in the video, now I'm putting first quarters right over here. So you can see this a uh, one bedroom and a, a small living room. Yes. So it's, it's, it's two story, no going three story like this one. It's two story. So you can see that uh, this will be the main entrance here. When you enter here, we have this small balcony right over here. You enter the living area. This is the living area. Uh, once again, sorry, I didn't even show you the starting point. So this is the living area, very cute. Here will be your TV area. I know you won't see, you won't get a rare picture because these bamboos are here. So we have the living area down here. Then we have a kitchen, a small kitchen right over here. Yes, I like the, I like the way the air is blowing. Yes, yeah, small kitchen right over here. So in your living area, it gets straight to your kitchen. Then here serve as a dining area. Yes, so a very cute dining area on this side. Then you come into your bedroom. Yeah, this is your bedroom. So when it comes to your bedroom, we have created a wardrobe right over here. So you can see this wardrobe will go up so that you fix the food the wardrobe inside. So we have your bedroom all in two. Then here will be your restroom. That's your toilet and a bath. So you can see I've done the connection here. It's going up to the first floor so we have to also project it to the that's how you see the pipe going up. So here will be your washroom, your bath, and your toilet. That's your wash hand basin. Your gate will come. Now you have a very beautiful double windows here to get a very beautiful and good ventilation coming from the greeny area here. So follow me. Let me take you up. So that it's the same plan. So I just wanted to get how we have managed the size of the land. I'll tell you the size of the land and I know you will shock. So when you come out, you have this four feet staircase here going up to the first floor. So you come out from there. We're coming in, you take the staircase right over here. Because the, the slope is a little bit sharp, you have a landing here, you have two landing here. From this one, you land here, then you get another step coming to this side, you land here. So we take this staircase right over here. Then we have another landing here. Before you enter that apartment itself, we have a landing. So you can see there's a, a step here, which in case it falls, it rains and it falls on the floor. You don't have to go straight to your house. So you have a, a step here that will leave and go straight to the staircase. So you enter the same thing now. I think you can get a view here. That's a very great view here. So you enter, this your living area, the same plan, like I said. This is your TV area. Here will be a window, putting a dining area here. So here will be the kitchen. So you can see that you have to leave the space where your drains, the kitchen waste, everything will pass. So here will be cool. So I come back again. And then you make sure this pillar sets a boundary to the bedroom. So here will be the gate. You go into the bedroom. There will be a wardrobe here. A small wardrobe, very cute wardrobe here. Then we have a balcony here, getting this great view, getting this beautiful uh, air blowing from this green area. I know you love to see how the finish will be. So once again, you see that the toilet products are projected from the ground floor. This is it. So it goes down, then it goes through to the waste tank. And this is the, the bathroom. So okay, that's the plumber has done. The plumber is holding the camera. So. You won't see your face, but I think uh, we have another project. When it starts, I will start giving you the video and you see the good work he's also doing here. So this is what you do. So you could see that you have raised the columns here. I always said I like raising the columns before I put in the blocks and everything because the columns, if you raise the columns and you do the slap and everything, this the columns and everything hold the house and stuff. Yes, so if you manage to put on the columns before, some of them will do lay the block before they put in the concrete for the columns. But I prefer doing this. I think uh, when you do that, you get the strength of the house. So you see that the columns carry the burden itself. So you can change the plan at any time. 
because it can take off the blocks whilst you are from the skeleton so that's how we are doing here so you can see in front of me is the security post i did yes security post i did over here so i believe uh, let me fit from this staircase this security post here can pack the car so like i'm managing the space for the the owner so one car can be passing over here so you see when you come because we are still con under construction you see all this Bench, but this is what the speed bender and capitals are using. So you can see here, you can equally park another car here. Then we have a uh, 70 feet by 35, which you can equally park one, two, three car in the wall by four. So you can equally park four cars on this compound. You haven't casted it, so this is the waste tank over here. You will cast and put it on the waste tank all here to the main entrance. So, like I was saying in the first video. That's the reason why I haven't picked the gate here because we are still bringing in the materials. So just take a look at the compound. Just take a look. Uh, yes. So this is how it look like. So you still have ample space to pack as many as 12 to 13 cars over here. So stay tuned and I'll give you the update. Yeah, welcome to another day of our project here in Cape Coast. This is the boys quarters we are doing so you can see now the carpenters have come to form the structure here yes so now we are doing the flooring for the second floor this is a secret roof in so you can see that they have do the beams which the steel burner is now so there's the onion rod right over here so now the steel burner are here going to prepare the beams and the mat so that the plumbers and electrician will come and fix their pipe then we can do the casting then you leave it for the period of 21 days for it to get ready for us to continue the next project so stay tuned i'm just adding up how it's going so just So when you take the first staircase, you have to level one here. Yeah. So come to the second landing. Then you take this staircase here. Yes. So this is the first floor. And you could see the slab that has been laid. Yeah, there's a slab here, and then that's the beam. So you could see that my steel burners are here, putting the mat on it. So before they put the mat on, you put our black plastic rubber here on it, and put clips on it so that after you cast in the concrete, they can get a smooth level of the slab yes. so like i said keep following us you have now subscribed to this channel you can't really do and enjoy this beautiful construction and estate agents organization right here in Ghana okay, So, I'll bring you the next update when the, I'm done and we are doing the next.